approximately 10 to 12 days ago, one of our members was interested in putting on some trades using options. And in an earlier video, we showed, demonstrated how to use our tool to buy stock and to sell a covered call. We also, and we're going to give an update on this position, we also demonstrated how to go into his tool now, our tool, which we do day in and day out, and do what? Sell, sell a credit put spread. So we did this about 12 days ago, and we did it with Amazon, and I want to map this out, and then we will go to the option chain and show you exactly where things are. So this is what we did. We went to Amazon or Amazon showed up in our Swing Machine Plus on a daily basis. And about 12 days ago, Amazon was in panic, panic sell. And the price was considerably lower. And in fact, it almost doesn't even matter. We'll see where it is. I can't recall exactly. And I'll explain what we did. We sold a put. And we sold it at a price of where Amazon was at the time it was in panic. And we received a credit. The market, we sold the put. And this is a credit put spread. It is a bullish trade. And the reason why we did this, let me just mark this up, is that when a stock or a market on our scale is in panic, the likelihood, probably just $2 signs there, the likelihood that it's going to move from panic to the middle is about 95% over the next 20 days. And we did this about 12 days ago. And what has Amazon done? It has moved from panic to the middle. So we sold the put when Amazon was down here in panic at a lower price and the marketplace paid us a finite, a finite amount of money. Now, if Amazon at the time of expiration and we sold it for December 16th at the, it, at the time of expiration is above that strike at the time of expiration, we will keep that entire premium. We will, but there's risk associated with this right now. This is a naked put and let me show you the risk. Trying to map this out. If after we sold the naked put, Amazon continued to fall, then we would lose, theoretically, Amazon could have gone to zero. We would have lost, you know, eight to nine thousand dollars, a hundred shares of, you know, ninety dollars or so where it was. It was roughly around ninety. We'll see in a moment. So we did not want to lose in, infant, you know, not an infinite amount, but a big chunk. So we took one of these dollars and we bought a put. We bought a put and we bought it down in here. And what that does is it protects us from going or losing money any further. We cannot lose any, any more money below that point. And that would have cost us, trying to map this out here a little bit, a dollar sign. Oop. Yeah, we'll put it as red. It would have cost us a portion of the credit that we received for defining our risk. That's what, that's what we did. It's why we did what we did and how we found it. Now let's go to the option chain and look at that trade today, because although we sold it down here, 
Amazon is now trading. We'll draw this out. Hopefully. Is now trading up in here someplace. It's moved toward the middle and is up. So we want to go look at that option, that credit put spread, and see if we want to close it. And let's do that together. Okay, so here is the trade. Here is the Amazon. And we sold a vertical put credit spread. And we we sold a 90 put and we turned around and bought a 92 put. And I'm gonna break it apart and show you exactly. Now, when we did this, we had 45 days. We're down to 31. When we come across and go through the Greeks, which we can save for another day, our maximum risk was $521. Our maximum profit is $279. We're up nearly $200. So the most amount of money that we can lose is $521. And the most amount of money that we can make is 279. So if we were to calculate that percentage, if we close it today, we can realize the profit of 190, which is, do the math on that, is about 70, 68 to 70% of our max profit. And I'd be okay because anything can happen over the next, you know, um, and we were prepared to go out maybe or try to deal with this within 20 days. We don't want to take it all the way to December 16th. But let me break this apart to show you the two separate legs, the two separate transactions. The first thing that we did, well, we did it all at one time, but we'll show you the legs. We sell a December 16, 90 put. Now we did this, you know, 14 days ago when Amazon was trading at 90 in panic. And we thought that the likelihood, 95% likelihood, it's going to move back toward the middle, which is, a, which is exactly what it's done. Now, when we sold the put, had the trade gone against us, had the trade gone against us, Amazon could have gone to zero, not likely. We would have lost $9,000. But when we sold the put, we received a credit of $500. And therefore, our maximum risk was $8,500. Well, that's a hard way to go. That's a naked put at that point. We don't want to risk $8,500 to make $500. That wouldn't be good money management. So what we did was we took a portion of those dollars, the $500 that we received a credit, and we went down on the option chain. And the delta, by the way, which is what we like to use, the delta when we sold the 90 put was 50. We go down on the option chain. And we bought a put where the delta was about 30, 30%. There was less than a 30% likelihood that it was going to get to 82. But we wanted to protect ourselves. So what did we do? We bought a put. And that put cost us 221. 221. Now, as it turned out, we never needed it. But it helped us sleep at night. So as the market runs up and away from 82 and away from 90, that put shows up as a negative. But it's doing exactly what we intended it to do. We drop it on here. And here is how we defined our risk with this vertical credit put spread. We sold a 90, received $500. We turned around and bought an 82 put. Cost us 279. Uh, well, no, it cost us, um, yeah, two, two, about 279. I believe that's thereabouts. And here it is. Our max, so our maximum loss was 521. Our max profit is 279. And we have about 70% of that trade. So we will go ahead and close it. What we were demonstrating is certainly a vertical credit put spread how you would structure it and why you might structure it but more important than that is how we use the tools that we use options are beautiful things but you must get the direction right 
you must get the timing right and you must get the implied volatility and you need to stay active and you need to stay disciplined buying and selling options recklessly probably isn't going to help swing machine plus set on a daily basis is going to be a beautiful thing as we close out when we did the credit put spread amazon was selling it 90 and nobody wanted it they were selling it hand over fist we did it when it was here it is now here it is now time for us to ring the cash register and get out of it and we'll wait when the market is up here on anything we will do what we will sell credit call spreads credit call credit spreads that's what we can do or we can just you know sell sell a call we'll go the other way we play at the extremes this is how we what we use and of course swing machine can even give us the trend the trend on amazon on a daily basis is still down so it's time to close that trade